friends and welcome to day 14 of our at home gymnastics video. I'm Miss Shelby and we are doing beam today. If you hear my little friend, she's just running around having a good time. Uh, for today you will need that ball again and you will need uh, your tape on the floor for your beam. Uh, today for our warm up, we did those forward chasses yesterday. So today we're going to do sideways to chasse. Yes, baby. Would you like to do shoveling chassis with me? Be a horse? You would not. Oh, shoveling chassis are fun. So let's put our hands out beside us and let's kick the side of our foot. Yes, darling. Yes. Oh, no. You'll be okay. You want to do shoveling chassis with me? Yeah. Yeah? That's right. Chassis. Kick the side of that foot. And go again. Kick. 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 Good. And kick. Kick. Now, remember, I don't have a very wide area, so that's why I'm kind of staying just right there. But you can go down the long hallway. If you're outside, go around your whole house. That would be awesome to get to do those chassis. Get that heart pumping. Um, today, our position, what was yesterday? What was it? Do you remember? That's right. It's coupe. It was our companion to passe. So coupe right here at the ankle. Be sure that you uh, bend that knee. You're not going backwards. You're not going to touch your leg. You're going to be just tapping with the side of your toe. That is coupe. And today, our new one is, oh, we did these on beam. We're doing a lot of beam stuff lately. It's a V-sit. Show me your V-sit. Who remembers? There you go. My friend's playing ball today. Felicity's wanting to uh, get my attention. You're going to put your hands out behind you, and you're going to point your toes to the sky all the way. Hello. Oh, thank you. I will not fall if I have the ball, she says. But if you don't have a ball to put right there, that's okay. We're going to point our toes up, 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 and hold it. And come down. Point up, up, up. Your, uh, your elbows can bend on these. That is fine. I just want you to be in a nice V yeah, position. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I bet you can do it. You can do a V-sit. Yeah, I can. Felicity's going to try to do a V-sit. Oh, my. That's a good try, but don't roll back on your back. Keep your back up, 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 up. Good, V-sit, that's our new position for today. Try to remember, I'm gonna ask you tomorrow. Um, today is beam day. So first we're gonna work on our walks. It's a big review day. It's been a while since we did all of our walks. So we're gonna do forward, backward, kick steps. I would do dip steps, but we don't have a beam to actually dip down. If you do, practice those dip steps. We're gonna do great bonds as well. So relevate up, 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 tippy toes. Do not look down at your beam. Look to the wall. Pretty princess crowns or balloons or whatever you want to use. Oh, hello. Relevé, tippy, tippy, tippy toes. And pivot turn, turn. Tippy, tippy toes. I have a monkey in the middle of my beam, so I'm just going to step over her. Good. Now do backwards walks. Looking at your uh, wall, squeezing your legs and bottom. Oh, see, I found that monkey on the beam, so I'm just going to step over that monkey there. Tippy, tippy toes, all the way up, 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 up. Good, feel for the back of that beam with your foot. Now, I'm going kind of quickly and doing just one turn. I want you to do at least 10 of each. 10 forward walks, 10 backward walks. Now we're gonna do 10 kick steps. Start on your beam, arms out. Kick all the way up to your belly, squeezing your leg. Kick up, up, up to that belly button. Good, go around again, kick, kick, kick. Chest up nice and tall. Excellent. Ten times for me there. Again, I'm going to make sure kick was the last one. Yep. Um, grapevine. Stand sideways. You can have your hands on your hips or out. I prefer on my hips just for this beam. Forward. Step. Behind. Step. Don't turn your hips. Keep your hips straight. Forward. Step. Behind. Step. Forward step, and I ran out of beam, so you can go the other way. Be sure on your great bonds, do a few more of those. Let me check and see. All righty, hang on just a second, friends. I can't read my own writing today. All right, friends, I finally figured out what I, it was abbreviation. I couldn't figure out what I wrote. It was arabesque. So we're going to stand on the cartwheel and chest up, 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 arabesque step. Arabesque step. Point that toe behind you. Arabesque step. 
Arabesque step. Arabesque step. Good. Now, for sure, do five of those. No friends coming at. Yep, she's going to try the beam as well. Um, so very good. Next, we're going to work on our turning. Now, when you turn on the beam, it's called pivot turn. You're going to have the cartwheel leg in front, and you're going to be nice and tall on those tippy toes. Whoop, sorry, Michelle's a little wobbly. Turn towards that back leg. You can't turn the other way. Your leg's in the way. So you're going to turn. Good. Turn again. Turn towards that back leg. Turn. Good. Try to stay on tippy toe. I know it's kind of hard, but I know you can do it. The last thing, oh, do that about 10 times for me. The last thing on me was we're going to do those round off dismounts again. Remember, step, kick, round off dismount. Parents, if you are spotting, spot on the side, their leg that is down is on. So if you were spotting me, I'm a lefty, I would be here. If your child is a righty, you would stand on this side and you will hold those hips. Um, do not let them place plant <laughs> if they are not confident in that round off. Hello, darling. Oh man, you got some juice on your sleeve. You want to do a round off dismount with me? All right, Felicity's like, nah, I'd rather not. But just pretend you've got, or at the end of your beam, I'm going to do a step with your opposite leg. Step, kick, round off, dismount. And as you can see, Miss Shelby did not hit the beam with her hands. She would have fell off the beam. So let's try that again, ready? Step, oh, I kicked first. Step, kick, hands on the beam, round off, dismount, stick it, do not wiggle after you stick that dismount up because we want to stick the landing into the doll and hold it. Alrighty, friends, now we move on to the basic five, forward and back roll, as always, you know what to do. Uh, for that forward roll, same thing, stand up without using your hands, pushing all the way through back roll like always. Sit down and go fast, push those toes over your nose, and stand up nice and tall, no knees, they'll get burned in the lava. Um, head stand again, get up against that couch or bed where your legs are suspended in the air wobbly, and that way you can practice holding them nice and tight. Try not to go back in the back bend or flop forward, try to hold those up. If you can do it uh, without that, go to the floor. Um, handstand, same thing that we've been doing. Push up in that on that chair or object and slap those shoulders. Do regular handstands too. Go ahead and T in. Squeeze T out. Excellent. Do remember to try to do 10 of those. Um, and then last is our cartwheel using that opposite or not opposite one-handed cartwheel. Since we have the beam out, it's really convenient to try to see where you're at as far as being straight. When you do a regular cartwheel, um, try to land on the beam. Oh, Miss Shelby did not. That means I need to kick a little higher. Kick, kick, kick nice and tall. Oh, that was better. I wobbled a bit and touched the wall, but my front foot got on. So try to squeeze, 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 and stay on your beam today. Hello, friend. We found some gummies. All right. They're not gummies. It's candy. Oh, yummy. Um, so we're going to do that one-handed cartwheel. Remember, start the wrist and move up. Only when you're confident, Miss Shelby's still on that wrist because she uh, cannot do it as good as her regular cartwheel. So we're going to kick, kick, kick nice and tall. Oh, I'm getting better. My cartwheel looked almost as good as my forward one, so I'll get to move up soon. Very good. Today for our coordination cooperation activity, I had a ball, but I'll have to go find it in a second. I think my little friend ran off with it. But uh, for our cool down activity, Today we are going to be doing, oh, I found my ball, throw it here, thank you. All right, so for our coordination cooperation, I want you to go around something. So if you're in your living room, try to go around a couch or a coffee table, or if you have an island in your kitchen, I want you to try to kick your ball whoop, all the way around an object. So you're going to kick it all the way around. Good job. So take your time. Do that a few times. It's really going to help build uh, your, uh, your uh, bouncing skills, your coordinating skills with your hand and foot, or your hand and foot, your eyes and your feet. Um, so that will be our coordinating. Do it a few times and then come back 
when you're done. And now we're going to do our three splits for our cool down. We are going to be doing these a lot because um, we don't really focus on the split in gymnastics as much anymore as when I was a kid. Um, but we're going to do our splits and our cool down a lot because it is a good cool down. Flatten that back foot, stretch that front foot way, way, way out there, and go down in your split. Hold this for 20 seconds for me, friends. Go ahead and pause if you need to. I'm going to switch my feet to my other leg. Remember, flatten that back foot. The beam is a good one to do the splits on because then you can see if your hips are staying straight in front of you. You got a monkey climbing on me. That makes splits even better. Um, go ahead and count to 20, friends. And your opposite leg split. Going down, down, down. Good. Pause the video if you need to. Now we're going to do our middle split. Our middle split, remember, go down on your elbows if you can. Michelle, he's not quite there yet. But just remember, knees always up, no matter how far you're going down. Hold that split 20 seconds again. Excellent. And then come out of those 20 second splits. It's okay, my darling. All right. So, friends, I hope you had a wonderful.